Welcome to Grace Week. Thank you for listening in. Thank you to my incredibly talented friends, Tori and Shauna, for joining me this week and allowing me to share their songs from their new album. You got to find them on all platforms. Years ago, I met a pastor named Pete Wilson in Nashville. He became my internet pastor. He's still my pastor to this day. Not only is he a pastor, author, and podcaster, he is now my close friend. Like all of us, Pete hit times where he needed grace. I have, you have, we all have. That's why this week is so important. This week, I am going to share a conversation that I had with Pete on five key areas of grace. Each day, a new topic. Lean in, take notes, reflect. Grace is everything. Jesus and his model of grace this week is everything. If you hear something that challenges you, moves you, impacts you, please share that with one of your friends as well. Welcome to Grace Week on Unscripted. When I think about you When I think about you I can't thank you enough For your mercy and love When I think about you Welcome to the Unscripted Podcast. We're Tori and Shana, and you're listening to our song called When I Think About You. Available on Spotify, Apple Music, or wherever you enjoy your favorite songs. But for now, let's listen in to your host and our friend, Aaron Conrad. Grace for those who have hurt us. Mm. Mm. So how do yeah. we how do we dig deep? How do we find a place where we can give grace to those that have hurt us? This one is the most difficult. I think, you know, for me, something that really shifted in me, and this was a couple of years ago, I read a book called The Way of Love by Anthony DeMello. And in that book, he, I'm not going to quote this exactly, but you'll get the idea. You know, he, he talks about how we, we tend to, in our stories, you know, we went there to always be a villain and a hero. Mm-hmm. And, you know, there's, there's good and bad. And, and we put people in these categories of, you know, he's good, he's bad, that's a villain, that's the hero. And, and then we kind of play to those roles. And it's really easy to do that when we've been hurt by somebody to paint them as the villain in our story. They're bad. And, you know, for, for, he, he really challenges that, that idea. Someone's not actually bad. You know, they might be hurt. They might be scared. They might be lonely. They, and they may be, that may act out of their life in a lot of different ways. But when you picture someone not as the villain in the story, but as someone who has been hurt in life, someone who's a fragile human being, they've been through a lot. Again, it doesn't excuse maybe what they've done to you, but it starts to break down the wall and you start to look at them a little bit differently. My wife, Jordan, and I have talked about this a lot over the past year with having this little baby in our house. And, you know, we've talked about this so many times that everybody at one point was this innocent little baby, right? right. And then you go through life and people have been hurt and they have all these scars and then, you know, they hurt you and it's easier to just kind of keep lumping them as, oh, that's the bad person. That's the villain, you know, and the, and the reality is that it's not helpful. Right. And, and I think that's where you have to go to is that you can offer grace to anybody. Offering grace to somebody does not mean reconciliation. It mm. two completely different things. I can forgive you, offer grace to you, but then also say it's probably not the healthiest thing for us to be in a relationship, but no bitterness, no anger towards you. I'm not trying to hold you accountable for what you did any longer. It's over, forgiven. But there is a difference, right? Between offering grace to someone, forgiving someone and uh, reconciling with them. Same thing, it's, you know, giving grace to somebody is not condoning what they did. It's not saying that what you did was okay. You know, maybe what you did to me was wrong. You shouldn't have done that. I can still offer you grace though, because I know that you're a broken human being and 
somehow me holding a grudge against you in no way is going to produce anything positive in my life or in your life. So why not offer grace and give God the opportunity to do a really cool miracle there in that moment? Wow. I, I pulled up a quick quote I saw online. It says, when a toxic person can no longer control you, they will try to control how others see you. The misinformation will feel unfair, but stay above it. Trusting that the other people will eventually see truth, just like you did. And yeah. I think for those that we've heard, we've been in toxic workplaces or family situation, whatever it might be. I think we, I'm from Cleveland. And so we like to, uh, we like to sell the score where I'm from. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And so I like to, I like to make that balance sheet, you know, equate. And that was so powerful to me when I read that quote, because Sometimes it doesn't have to equate, you know, sometimes we got to walk away when, when we're, especially if we're, if, if we know we're right, we don't have to be the ones to prove that the other person was wrong in the situation or is just a bad person. <laughs> that's right, that's right. They're going to do that on their own. We just have to actually, the best grace we can show, I think, is to walk away and just allow, unfortunately, that person to be who that person is. Thank you all for joining me this week for Grace Week. This week, we get to share the music of Tori and Shauna, and I want to first start off with the single that we're going to share all week long, but we have a very special surprise for you on Easter Sunday, so you want to come back for episode seven. But today, I want to share a very special song. I have known about this song for months, and it's been so hard because there's been a lot of people that have gone through things in their life, and I wanted to share the song with them, but we just couldn't yet. I'm so excited to share The Lord is Close from my friends Tori and Sean. Their brand new album comes out Good Friday. And I want you all to follow them on Apple, Spotify, wherever you listen to music, follow Tori and Sean because their brand new album comes out on Good Friday. But for today, please enjoy this song. Cause God is greater than any storm And He is closer when we feel alone The Lord is close to the broken hearted He is here, Jesus is here Jesus is here So lift up your head Oh broken hearted Sing through the pain Give it to the Father
Jesus is here. 